Hi, how are you? What's going on? Yeah, we've got audio. We're good to go. All right, let's do this. Got a little cheat sheet here. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10.8.1, just shy of two months. And our Final Cut Pro bug fix update has been released. I made a few videos covering 10.8 and some of the bugs that people were experiencing. Some of those bugs were not being able to skim audio frames uh, in the timeline with the left and right arrow keys. And the major bug that I experienced was using the viewer window with three finger drag on a magic trackpad, which I use for all my editing. If you tried to just resize something in the viewer window, Final Cut Pro would freeze and become unresponsive, forcing you to force quit the application and restart it. Now, the workaround for this was either plugging in a mouse or connecting a Bluetooth mouse and using that because the issue didn't happen there, or using the inspector to do your transforms, rotations, all the different things that you might normally do in the viewer. But now, nearly two months later, Apple has released 10.8.1, which specifically fixes this bug update. I'm gonna go ahead and force quit Final Cut Pro and we'll take a look at the release notes. So new in Final Cut Pro 10.8.1 fixes an issue that prevented audio playback when stepping through timeline clips with the left left and right arrow keys, fixes an issue that could cause some MTS files to play back without audio. I think that was reported in the comments in my videos about the Final Cut Pro 10.8 bugs, but this wasn't something I personally experienced. And then finally, the big one for me, fixes an issue that could cause Final Cut Pro to stop responding when three finger gestures were used on a trackpad. So this is a big fix for me. For those of you that were hoping that 10.8.1 would have some kind of major feature updates or big releases, that's not gonna be the case with these smaller incremental updates, especially a .1 update. You're not gonna see features added, that sort of thing in a new version of Final Cut that's just this incremental fix. But you're gonna see bug fixes stability improvements, things like that. So we've got a whole checklist of things that we want to go through. And before we install the new version of Final Cut Pro 10.8.1, we want to back up the current version of Final Cut. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go to the Applications folder in Finder, and then you can right-click Final Cut Pro and choose Compress Final Cut Pro. Or you can do what I like to do, which is to stick it onto an external hard drive. I have a folder dedicated to old FCP with 10.8 already copied. I just click on the application, press and hold the option key and click and drag to this window and that will duplicate Final Cut Pro to an external hard drive. All right, so we have Final Cut Pro backed up. The next thing that we're gonna do is go to the App Store and pull up the Final Cut Pro update. Now, some of you may have had automatic updates enabled and Final Cut Pro just updated on its own. So if you don't want that to happen, which I highly recommend if you're using Final Cut Pro, you can disable automatic updates by unchecking this box. I always install my updates manually, even for some of these other applications that I would prefer to have automatically installed. It's a way for me to make sure that Final Cut Pro never gets updated when I'm in the middle of a project to a newer, newer version that might have some issues. Let's go ahead and update it. And while we're looking at that, one thing I wanna just double check real quick are the system requirements for the current version of Final Cut Pro. So minimum system system requirements are Mac OS 13.5 or later, eight gigabytes of RAM while 16 gigabytes is recommended. Metal capable graphics card, Intel based Mac computers only is what that applies to, 5.9 gigs of free space. Some features require a Mac with Apple Silicon. Now some of those features that require Apple Silicon is like the new feature smooth slow-mo. So you wanna be careful that even if you're updating to 10.8 and you're not seeing those features enabled, it may be because your computer isn't new enough to support those features, even though you can still install the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10.8.1. So let's check to see that that's installed. It looks like it's going through the final steps of the installation process. So what I'm gonna do while that's updating is I'm gonna go to the library that I'm going to open. And I've got a video here that I was working on with lens distortion. So I'm gonna to go to Project Files, FCP, and then I'm going to option click and drag this and it's gonna duplicate the library. Now, why am I doing that? I don't think this is gonna be the case, but Final Cut Pro 10.8.1 could require even a Final Cut Pro 10.8 library to be updated to be compatible with that new version of the Final Cut Pro library. And in case there is an issue with the 10.8.1 release, I wanna have a backup of the older version of the library in case I need to go backwards with my work. If you update a library in Final Cut Pro to the newest version of the application, you can't roll it back to an older version. That library is stuck in that current version of Final Cut. So I always try to duplicate a library 
before I open it in a new version of Final Cut. Let's check that installation. Looks like we're good to go. So let's go ahead and launch Final Cut Pro. So here we have the what's new in Final Cut Pro window. These are all features that came out in 10.8. So sometimes this window pops up even when there's an incremental update like 10.8.1. Go ahead and hit continue. And then I have a library that's already um, open and it didn't trigger an update, but let's just go ahead and double check with this lens distortion spot. We'll double click this to open it and see if it asks for that to be updated. It does not. So it does not look like the library file needs to be updated in order to be compatible with 10.8.1. And then I'm gonna click on a project here and go to file, share, or export XML, and then double check that the XML version is still the same. We're still on 1.12. We're not up to a 1.13, which I would expect. I wouldn't expect a a dot one update to trigger an XML update as well. The last thing that we're going to check is we're going to check to make sure there isn't a pro video formats update going along with this update to Final Cut Pro. So we want to go to the settings app and then go to general and then software update. And we're going to check for updates to see that there isn't a new pro video formats that goes along with this update. I doubt there will be. So it looks like I just have one update to do, um, Mac OS Sonoma 14.6.1. I'll do that another time, but no pro video formats update. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to check to make sure that this bug is resolved in 10.8.1. So I have here my project. I'm gonna bring this down to 50% and start using the three finger gestures to manipulate it. So I'm gonna hit Shift T to bring up the transform tool and it looks like everything is working correctly. What a relief. I can rotate, I can manipulate text, I'm sure, all of that stuff without having Final Cut Pro become unresponsive. So that's really nice. Now let's do some audio skimming. I'm gonna enable audio skimming over here. And then, <laughs> and now when I hit the left and right arrow keys, we can hear the audio going back and forth. So for all of you who are doing heavy editing with music or other sound effects, dialogue, whatever you're doing audio wise, this um, bug is resolved and it seems like we are good to go. So it looks like the 10.8.1 update is a success as far as resolving these major bug issues, especially the bug that I was experiencing. We'll see if any new bugs arrive, but I would consider this video a place where you can post any bugs that you're experiencing with 10.8.1. Let's make sure Apple knows, the Final Cut Pro team knows what we're experiencing with Final Cut so they can focus their effort on getting these bugs fixed as soon as possible. Hopefully the last videos that I made reporting on the bug issues help them expedite the process of getting those resolved. I know that those of us who are editing with a Magic Trackpad on a desktop or on our MacBook Pros are relieved to have this bug finally fixed so we can get back to working in the viewer window like we're used to. And just some quick commentary on expectations for major feature updates being added to Final Cut Pro since the 10.8 release two months ago, nearly two months ago. I'm not expecting any major updates to Final Cut Pro until September or October, most likely October. During WWDC, Apple said that there would be spatial video support for Final Cut Pro coming soon. And my guess is that that'll either be a 10.8.2 update or they're gonna just accelerate movement towards Final Cut Pro 11 and update to 10.9 with spatial video being supported. And hopefully some other feature requests that they can roll out in October along with new Macs, a new Mac Pro, maybe a new Mac Mini, and that'll help them with their big marketing push to get us all to upgrade our systems to be compatible with some of these new features in Final Cut Pro. I know that I may update to an iPhone 16 in order to support some of the features that Final Cut Pro is going to have with spatial video, etc., because I'm still using an iPhone 13 Pro Max which is exactly what Apple hopes for. And I don't mean that in a cynical way, but they are a company, they are a business, and they want us to upgrade our hardware more regularly. And a way to trigger that is by adding really cool features to some of their software, especially Final Cut Pro and all of the cool new things that it can do. And of course, there are a lot of things that Final Cut Pro can't do that we've all been begging for. Things like text-based editing, automatic captions on videos, some AI tools, color pipeline overhaul, sound mixing overhaul, all of the stuff that we have been talking about for years on our wish list for Final Cut Pro. I'm right there with you, but I wouldn't expect anything between now and September or October. 
that is likely the time where we're going to see a 10.8.2 update or an update to 10.9. So hit me up in the comments if you have any questions, any bugs to report on 10.8.1, or any commentary that you want to add to Final Cut Pro lagging behind the other NLEs. If you're not subscribed to the channel, highly recommend subscribing because I am doing videos regularly on Final Cut Pro, as well as some other cool stuff about Apple tech, some retro tech, and other projects that I've got going on that I think are pretty exciting. It'd be awesome to have you as part of the channel, so thanks in advance if you do subscribe. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see y'all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. And I'm going to get chopping because I got to get this video out ASAP. And I got to see if there's any bugs in 10.8.1. All right, let's get to it.